need to stop talking about her for once. I'm just a little bit over it. I'm here. Oh my. What are you doing here? You should be on your knees at Ken's house begging him to take you back. Ken probably kicked her out. That's why she's groveling back to us. Funny, coming from the woman who had her hands down his pants this morning. How dare you insult my baby girl, you rich child. Well, I wouldn't have to if your baby girl wasn't such a liar and a man-stealer. You're just jealous that Ken chose me. And now without a husband, you're freaking out about the CEO title. I'm glad you mentioned it, because I have something to show you guys. Is that marriage certificate? You're married? Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> that is none of your business. Wait a minute, Jesse Ross, is it? Wait, isn't he the billionaire? The oh, son of snap out of your daydream. It's not that, Jesse Ross. <sighs> As if a billionaire CEO would be interested in you. <laughs> Let me guess. Is it the call boy from the hotel the other day? So what if it is? <sighs> it's my marriage. Why do you care? Are you insane? You are the CEO-to-be of Monroe Construction. What can this loser do for our company? Huh? He's got no connections. He's got no money. He's got nothing. Work is work. Marriage is marriage. If all you're concerned about is money, I'll get you the money. Listen to yourself. What do you think? Money grows on trees? You file for divorce right now, or you never set foot in this house again. Works for me. I don't want to see your faces anyway. I was just here to show you the certificate. Serena. Everything just went so unexpected, Serena. You've been sitting like this all morning, boss. Did something happen? Yeah. This happened. I got married last night to that girl. Wait, the girl that got you the wool coat? That's amazing, boss. Well, what did you say whenever you told her you'd been looking for her for the last five years? I didn't tell her. Why? She's not just a random girl. She's Serena Monroe. The heiress of Monroe Construction and daughter of... Pauline Monroe. And she thinks that my family killed her mother. And to be honest with you, I don't blame her. But it was your uncle who insisted on going after her mother. You were only 23. You weren't even CEO yet. I know, Cooper, but I'm still a raw. So it doesn't change anything. That's why I don't want her to know who I am. Just not right now. Okay, well, I have to say, boss, I don't think this is a very good idea. 